Hi, I'm Dawn Combs, the prescription gardener for Hobby Farms. I am in the kitchen today because we are working on pests in the greenhouse and I'm cooking up something to be able to handle that on our own without going to the hardware store. So what we're dealing with in the greenhouse are white flies. We're going to make some white fly traps and instead of buying toxic chemicals, toxic glue, we're going to make our own. So I've started out with a small pot here and I've gone half and half, half water, half corn syrup. This is just regular light corn syrup and uh, today I made about a cup of glue. You want to boil that up so that it'll, it'll sink down and get a little thicker and then you want to let it completely cool. And I have got my child's yellow construction paper here. Easy for me to get a hold of in the household, but you can use yellow legal paper, you can use whatever you have on hand, just so long as it's yellow. That's specifically attractive to the white fly. I don't want to use this entire paper because it's going to get heavy, so what I'm going to do is cut it in half, and then I've got two potential fly strips here. I'm going to fold it in half, and now that my glue is completely cool, I'm going to take a pastry brush. You can do this with just about anything. I'm going to spread my glue onto the trap on both sides. I'm doing this on a pan so that I don't get this all over my counter. Again, it'll wash up, there's no concerns here, but it just makes it a little cleaner job. I'm going to let that dry, and once it's dry, I'm going to poke a hole in the top of this so that it can be hung. We're going to hang this on a cross member in the greenhouse, and the white fly will be attracted and stick and won't be able to get off. The great thing about using a regular piece of paper like this is that once the trap is filled with the white fly, we simply just take it down, crumple it up, throw it away, and replace it with a brand new trap. This will keep a little bit, though it's so simple to make, there's really no need to go through all of the effort of keeping this glue, but uh, if you find other uses, fly strips, other things around the house, you might want to put this in a little container. You could keep it in the refrigerator for probably a week or so and be able to reheat it and use it as needed. So. This has been Don Combs, the prescription gardener for Hobby Farms. Thanks for joining me.